welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, and in today's video, I have another testing DIY popular slime recipes video for you. This is the third video in this series, and I'm having so much fun filming these. You guys really seem to be enjoying it. The first one got a 1.5 million views, which I'm not a views type of girl, but I just don't see that on my channel at all. My channel is not a 1.5 million view type of channel, so that was really, really cool, and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching that video and giving me so, so much positive feedback. I really hope you guys enjoy this one just as much. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out three more popular slime recipes. I'm going to be testing out the crispy bubble slime, the phloem, which I'm not even sure if that's considered a slime, but whatever, I'm going to test it out for you anyways. And the last slime I'm going to be testing out is a magnetic slime, and spoiler alert, the magnetic slime was probably one of the coolest slimes I've ever tested out ever. I mean, it was so awesome and it was so much fun to play with. So stick around to the end of the video to check that one out. If you guys have any other questions or concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and I will try very hard to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we're just going to get right into this video. First, we're going to be testing out this quote unquote super crispy bubble slime. You're going to need some glue that has PVA in it. I am using two bottles because I wanted a bigger batch, and I'm using the Elmer's school glue because I feel like it works the best. After adding your glue into the container, you want to add in about one tablespoon of water as well as one tablespoon of lotion. The lotion is going to help your slime become a little stretchier. Then, you just want to take any stirring utensil and stir it all up. Now for one of the most important parts of making super crispy bubble slime, the foaming hand soap. You want to add about 10 to 15 pumps of the foaming hand soap into your glue mixture and mix it all together. Another very, very, very important part of making super crispy bubble slime is to add in some shaving cream. You want to add in about a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup, and you also want to allow it to foam up at the top before you mix it all in. This next step is optional, but if you want your slime to be a specific color, you can use either food coloring or acrylic paint. To create your actual slime, you want to use a slime activator. I decided to use Staflo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I got this bottle at Walmart and it was only about $4 for this really, really large bottle and it made perfect, perfect slime. You can also use the whole borax and water method where you take a teaspoon of borax and you mix it with one cup of hot water and then you add that into your slime gradually. I've mentioned this in pretty much all my previous slime videos, but less is definitely more when you are using a slime activator. Once your slime comes together, it still may be a little sticky, but just knead it and pull it and stretch it, and the more that you do that, the less sticky your slime will become. If you feel like it's still way too sticky, you can always add a little bit more of your slime activator, but you just don't want to add too much at once because it will ruin your slime.
Once you've created a really nice fluffy bubblegum slime, you want to place it back into your container, spread it out so that it's touching the corners, then you want to take that same shaving cream that you used earlier, spray it on top, and then just knead it into your slime. This is what's going to help make those really, really dramatic bubbles on the top. And once you knead it into your slime, you want to take a little more, place it on the palm of your hand, and just massage it over the top. Cover up your container of slime and allow it to sit out for at least two days before you open it back up. Overall, I would give the slime about a 7 or 8 out of 10. It was definitely the fluffiest slime I have ever created and played with before in my entire life. It was so satisfying to just pull up the slime and stretch it and poke it and squeeze it. But this slime was supposed to be a really crispy bubble slime and although I got a lot of bubbles, it wasn't as crispy as I wanted it to be. Now for the foam, I'm making a smaller batch this time, so I'm only using one bottle of glue, but you can use as much as you like and make it as big as you want it to be. I am using, again, the Elmer's School Glue, but any PVA glue will work. Into my bowl, I'm also adding in a splash of water, and then my blue acrylic paint, because I want my foam to be blue. Mix it all up and then get ready for the star of this show, which is the Styrofoam Beads. You can get these off of Amazon.com or you can get these inside of pretty much any airplane pillow. You can cut one open or again, just buy these right off of Amazon.com. So what you want to do is take your Styrofoam Beads and add them in gradually. And yes, I know I should have used a bigger bowl for this. I definitely learned from my mistake. It definitely would have benefited me to use a bigger bowl because the Styrofoam Beads start to go everywhere but what are you gonna do? So add in your styrofoam beads gradually. I used about three fourths of this cup and I just mixed it all together until I got a consistency that I liked. And the final step is just to add in your slime activator a little bit at a time and mix it together until your foam forms. That is a tongue twister. This recipe was super simple, but it worked like a charm.
And last but not least, I decided to test out the Magnetic Iron Slime. This one looked like so much fun online, so I had to test it out for myself. I am using one large bottle of the Elmer's Glue All. To that, I'm adding a splash of water, and then I'm adding some iron fillings that I got off of Amazon. It was about $6 for this large bottle, and I only used about a fourth of the bottle. I just poured a bunch of it in. There were no exact measurements. I just poured it all together. To add a little bit of extra shine to this, I'm using some extra fine glitter, but to be honest with you, I would just skip this step because you couldn't see any of the glitter. So then I just mixed it all together, and I got ready for my next step. The slime wasn't coming out as opaque as I wanted it to be, so I added in one little drop of some black icing, and a word to the wise, if you're going to be stretching this and playing with this, I highly suggest using gloves. I learned that one out the hard way as well, because black food icing or food dye or food coloring is really, really prominent. And finally, I added in my Staflo, which was my slime activator, and I just mixed it all together until the slime formed. Time to sound like a broken record. Are you guys ready? Need your slime and then pull it and stretch it and that is what's going to make your slime less sticky. There you go, you have it. You heard it from me first. Now to test out if it actually worked, you want to take a magnet and I wouldn't use a magnet that you use on a refrigerator, I would use a strong magnet and check this out, it was so awesome, it worked perfectly. The second I put the magnet into the slime, it just started engulfing the magnet, but I will say it is like a one-time use. You are not getting that magnet out of the slime. It basically just swallowed the magnet and you can pretty much just say goodbye to that magnet. You're never going to be able to use it again. And here is my sad attempt at trying to get the slime with the iron fillings off of my magnet. It's just not happening, Allison. Give up, walk away, and accept it. You are not going to get those iron fillings or that slime off of the magnet. I was able to get as much as I possibly could off so I could throw it back in the slime and test it out again. And this is what happened. So cool! Even with the magnet being completely covered in slime, the magnet itself was still super strong. The second that I touched the slime on the countertop, it just pulled away with that magnet. It had a really, really bold attraction, and I have to give this recipe a 10 out of 10. Hands down, the most fun I've ever had at making slime and playing with slime.
And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoyed my videos. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.